think they can see y'all anymore. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Well, I'm a smart ass, so... Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get yeah. over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? N that's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah, so cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. We're probably going up here for the first time now. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, skill. Definitely sounds like something I'd say. Hi, honey. <laughs> I told you. No. <laughs> no, nope, not at all. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Why does he look like what's his face? Because he probably is what's his face. I just referred to him as my beefy, perfect-sighted doppelganger. 
right. Okay then. Beefy, huh? Yeah, because I'm like off uh, tons of anorexic and shit. <laughs> You're not anorexic. I've seen worse. <laughs> Much worse. Hey, right, where am I supposed <laughs> to be going here, man? This is this is bullshit. What's going on? To your doom. More than likely, sooner or later, <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it. I think it's gonna come that quick. Well, here's somebody I can fucking talk to, I'm sure. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and I? <laughs> two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right, is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever, look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. Ace to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. anywhere particular. Locked off here too. Corvus wants to know what's wrong with an English accent. I didn't say anything. She said she didn't say anything. Right. <laughs> I love English accents. Thank you very Great. much. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, so don't make him come in here. The sailing instructor with the sexy brooding oh, thing that totally doesn't do anything <laughs> for me at all? <laughs> Sexy. Ooh, baby, yeah. promises, promises. <laughs> okay, sure. Look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing <laughs> is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, yeah. blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, 
empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Micah! Oh, really? Jesus. Right back tomorrow. Oh, no up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> I actually thought I got that one. Jesus. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll try to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's great. Thank God. Hmm. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. You know what? Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where is everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've failed just about every single one of them to, uh, during this game so far, so... I'd say tricky is definitely the word for it. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Z, oh, did it again. Too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. What? It's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. 
then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Ugh. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Actually, gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. All right, I don't see there being much more that we're missing in here, really. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, this <gasps> fucking quick time thing, I saw the road, lady. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick. Could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? 
I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be really happy you're back. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Not secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no. They're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All. Everyone. See ya. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? No one heard, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the Oh hey, hey, here. Let me um let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean it's really not that big. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Cool. Bitch. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast. Actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast? about you okay if anyone you had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt oh my god you are so childish at least i don't look and smell like a butt no it's a, it's a paranormal podcast this episode was actually about this place weirdly enough the hag of hackett's quarry the who of the what's it where now 
What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend Dad. so much time trying to press the Butter. ladies' ball as ghost stories. Butter. Who asked? Ghost Butter. stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, <laughs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I wanna have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey dude, I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? about this podcast. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is 
everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. 
Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. About time. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Like, okay, that wasn't just all strange at all. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P now every great horror movie really starts. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean... High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Fine. Yes. Yes. I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this.
And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flick or ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? What? 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 what?